Good morning to all my YouTubers. Today, welcome to In the Kitchen with Janine. I'm going to make something package made. I'm on a baking roll here, I think, trying everything out. This is a um, self hot rise. I never heard of a hot rise. It's cornbread. It doesn't give the recipe for corn muffins, which are my favorite, and I'd love to do. But the best part of this recipe is how I eat them when they're prepared and cooked. So let's bake some in the oven, and then I'll show you how I enjoy them. That's the fun part. Now I got to read from the back a little bit. I got things laid out as usual. So far, it's a it's a pretty nice day in Pompano. I I don't see any rain, but you never know here. Yesterday was horrible. I was I spent the whole day cooking, like I don't spend every day cooking. Okay, easy southern cornbread. I got a teaspoon of vegetable oil in. That was at the beginning, and that surprised me. It said shortening. I have shortening, but it was basically a tablespoon to grease the pan. You have to set the oven at 450 to heat the skillet. I'm not going to do any of that. Okay, so let's tell you the ingredients. It's one large egg. We're going to put that in because that gets beaten first. One large egg. And we're going to have to whisk that up. Okay. Let me hold this here. Whisk the egg in a medium bowl, and then we're going to stir in the milk, the oil, and the corn batter, cornmeal batter. And that's basically it. And then it says bake for 20 to 25 minutes. And they're saying at 450. I don't know about 450. I'm going to try to amp my oven up. I don't know, guys. Crazy Girl Stove has her big brother, Crazy Oven, and I think it's time for a new one. I must have gave 100 hints, but the truth is we can't really afford to go out and get a good one right now because the one I would like is about 1000 or so, maybe more. Who knows now what the thing of price is. It's nothing cheap anymore. Stoves used to be able to get a, a GE or something for like 300 All right, uh, enough nostalgia. Let that heat up. See if it gets there. Uh, next is the milk and the vegetable oil. It's one and a third cups of the milk. And this is filled to the room. So what I did is I put in one full cup and then I used it one third measure. And this is exactly what it is. So it's basically an overfilled cup. And it tells you in the recipe, if it doesn't seem poor enough like pancakes or if it's too thick, add more liquid. That's the end of that, you know. So you don't have to really worry. Okay, that, the milk. Stir in the milk and the oil. Okay, the oil is one quarter cup. I have to be a little gentle because that I filled to the rim. My one quarter cup of vegetable oil. Okay. Alrighty, not so bad. I haven't made cornbread or corn muffins in some time. They used to be a brand I loved. You don't see them anymore in the market. They were gorgeous. They were from Sweden, I believe. They came in a blue package. They were the bomb. Nice, big, and cut them in half. All right, here goes, guys. Let's put in the batter. Okay. Using my big measuring cup. Ooh, have another sip of coffee. Because it is that early here. It's nine-something, and I didn't walk. See, I have to get, I see a few bakers now that I'm getting involved in with it. I see a thing called a flat whisker for batters so that they don't stick. And I think I'm going to have to invest in one because this isn't working for me. All righty. Well, guys, let me just get my favorite. Oh, I moved things around in my kitchen today, if you know. So I was immediately going for my spoons there when I moved them here. I'm like that. I move stuff around. Pretty soon you'll see me in another part of the kitchen because that's just me. I like motion. I like movement. I like keeping things fresh. I don't like to stay in one spot. My dog doesn't sit with me because I don't sit. She looks for Vinny all day. Honestly, I don't sit down during the day. Never. And and I never did. That's why. It's not like I'm having aversion to it, but it's just my personality. I like to keep it going. All righty. Much, much better. Much, much better. All right, let's see. Let's see how this is going. I did, I didn't post it yet, but I did another loaf cake and a lot of good recipes because I've been, like I said, cooking up a storm. I'm determined 
my subscribers, my YouTubers, everybody out there. I'm determined to reach my goal. I want to get it done and know that I succeeded. It's very important to me. It means a lot. You know, I'm always going to cook. I'm always going to be in the kitchen, but I want to have YouTube recognize that I reach my 1,000 subscribers and I'm going to do it. So I'm going to be a little bit of a pest. I'm very close, guys, very close. Help me out. Hit that little red subscribe button at the bottom right corner of the screen. If you're watching me on your computer, you'll see it. You know it. Help a girl out. All right. So that looks kind of like it should. I don't think it's too moist, and I don't think it's too dry. I think it's the right consistency. Now we're going to put it in the pan and bake it 450. Yep, that's the, that's the bell saying. I don't know if we could trust her. The oven saying it's at 450. So let's get this into the greased pan. And you'd be surprised. I didn't buy anything. I have baking equipment and tools as if I owned a bakery. It's hilarious. I have something in my in my cupboard. I'm going to show you briefly while that sets a bit. And ask anybody who does bake if they know what it is. It's in my, my drawer. I purchased it probably years and years and years ago. I pulled it out, and it's some kind of a pastry hole maker or something. Do you see this? It has a little handle. That's there. I thought, was it an apple core? And I said, no, I have two of those. And I don't know. Does anybody know what this is? Is it a donut hole maker for the center when you want to make, like, donuts? I don't know. I bought it, though. All right, guys. I'll come back when this is cornbread and then i will show you my creme de la creme way to eat it and enjoy it i'll be back when that's baked okay guys the cornbread is ready but it's piping hot here she is all golden and beautiful i don't know what that crack around the perimeter means like i said i've never used this recipe i'm going to let it cool and then i'm going to show you how i enjoy it okay guys you saw the cornbread done. I cooked it. We did the recipe. Now I'm going to show you how I eat it. That's the best part. I cut a piece, a square. I cut a whole square, okay? Then I cut the square in half, okay? Then I just have a pan heating here, all right? I've been doing it this way. I do it with corn muffins anyway. They come. This is how I love it, and it's delicious. Put some butter in a pan. Don't worry, this has been heating and it should sizzle because you want a little grill mark on these when you put them in, okay? So I'm not gonna be stingy with the butter because it's for me. Get the whole pan around. You see, I'm smiling because I'm excited. I haven't had breakfast yet. Then you just take it and see the corn, corn side down and we're going to fry them in butter, and then we're going to eat them with grape jelly. And they're going to be absolutely delicious. Let me clean off my board, close the butter. You can put additional butter if you want, but I'm behaving. After they're grilled and they come out of the pan, you can put extra butter. But I'm going to, like I said, behave. Let me put this up a little bit. Takes a few seconds, a few minutes, I'm sorry, a few minutes. Okay it to get that grill so let me get prepared for this delicious treat i haven't had this in years because like i said there was a company that used to make very large beautiful corn muffins and i know you could get corn muffins in other places but you know when you stuck on something it was just like the perfect corn muffin and i haven't seen it in years they must have been out of business or something so let me just check these and it's just not the same taste. Okay, these are done. Now I have to flip it right onto a plate. And I'm going to put the jelly on it. And I'm going to show you the deliciousness. And you know what else I do this with? You can do this with, um, what is it? With pound cake. You can do this with my banana bread. Anything, any kind of sweet, savory, uh, sweet bread. Okay, 
There you go. Now, let's just put some jelly on it. You could put fresh, fresh preserves. I have a raspberry recipe up there, my fresh raspberry preserves. Anything you like on it of jelly or preserves would be wonderful. Any flavor, apricot. And like I said, when I'm misbehaving, I would have added more butter to the cooked piece, but I'm not. I'm behaving. And then you just spread that on. And let me tell you guys, it's absolutely delicious. And it does make it a little bit more weak, or how would you say, like you see a piece fell off. So you, you'd have to be a little gentle with it. It's a hand food. It is now. Okay. That's the good thing about, I don't know, it's good or bad. You could do it either way. It would probably taste just as good on the corn muffins. But there you go. There it is. Mm, mm, mm. Fried cornbread, corn muffins, fried in butter, and enjoyed with jelly. It's delicious. I hope you make it. I hope you try this technique of eating it and enjoy. I'll see you guys in the next video.